Okay. Hello, mother fluffers. <laughs> clang, clang. To quarantine. To quarantine. This is what it's come to. BBL you. No, BBO. <laughs> Welcome to the BBO zone, b The BBO channel, you heard? Yeah, you should introduce ourselves. Yes. I'm Stephanie. I'm Penny. Welcome to my new channel. This is my roommate, Penny. Ah. She cute or whatever. <laughs> what so if? we've decided since we're stuck in the house, and we have been for like five years now, I'm going to do Penny's makeup, and she's going to do some get to know me tag questions so you guys can get to know me. And then I'm going to ask her questions too. Okay. Get to know us, huh? We really out here, and we are drinking, and we are of age. In case you wanted to know. Don't underage drink. Okay. Okay. Right, let's start with the most basic questions first. Oh gosh. Where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? Mm -hmm. Poto, Oklahoma. Poto. The f is Poto? <laughs> Say where? Say where? Poto. Poto. Oh, Podunk, Oklahoma. I went to college Podunk? in. Stillwater, Oklahoma. Go Pokes. Okay. BTW, we are using Makeup Forever. Oh yeah. Shut up. Is this your favorite yeah. foundation? Yeah. It's probably expired now, but... It's probably expired now. We're some bad you know, so we're not going to ask basic bad Like, because we don't have time for bad how many relationships have you been in? Ew, like... How many relationships? No? Oh. Oh, I've had three. Real ones. Um, Real ones, she said. Or like, how old? Okay, I, I have this one. After a breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? Oh, I feel like you even know the answer to this one for me. Um, You've seen it. <laughs> both, I feel like. Like... I feel like I go into this like phase I have to be alone for a couple days right and then after those couple days where I've like realized what's going on what's happening then I go out then I'm like all right time to turn up I would have to agree with that I mean you know at first it's like you have to kind of like, you be sad at first you be sad for a minute right like you just need to process even if it you, in your brain even if you try not to be sad you're still sad, so you just, just gotta give yourself moment. that moment, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Dab on it. Dab. Dab. My funniest moment throughout high school. Can you think of any? No, high school wasn't that funny. <laughs> How was it for you then? Rough. The biggest lesson. How about that? Be who you are. Because I feel like I was, I was so convinced in like being someone else that everyone else wanted me to be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And like trying to make the one guy I wanted to date like me for someone who I wasn't. Do we really know who we are How at that? that point? No. To be like, okay, like be yourself, but like, mm -hmm. do you even know who you are at that point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so it's kind of hard. We just came from middle school. There's no <laughs> way we know who we are. Right. And no it's way. like puberty hits, yeah. you know, like it's that transition into like, Oh my god, I'm in high school now. It's just like, a I have time. to have grown, you know? Like, yeah. I have to be mature, and I have to be this, and I have to be that to, like, get that boy's attention, or, like, to be liked. I feel like it was hard for me, because, like, my friends were maturing faster than I was. And I'm not afraid to admit that. But I was, like, always the innocent girl that never knew what was going on, mm -hmm. or what they were talking about. So when they would, like, make jokes or anything, and I would ask, like, what are y'all talking about? They'd literally be like... Oh, nothing. Because they knew I wasn't going to understand what they were talking about. So, did you feel left out? Because yes, of that? exactly. And I feel like that's what made it even harder. But, you know, people learn at different ages. People grow at different times. I was <laughs> still in your mans. <laughs> no. I was not. No, I was not that kind of ratchet. Like, I... I... Okay, so I was in New Jersey at the time when I was in middle school and freshman in my high school year. Um, and you know that Jersey Shore TV show? Mm -hmm. we it, was, don't act like you don't. it was not like an exaggeration at all about Jersey people. You have to look good 24 You have to look good. Your poof has to be on point. Like I used to wear 
my my poof was so high, you know, my like as tall as me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I would wear like bronzer as like my foundation. That's insane. Black eyeliner, like I was just like everything animal print. It's crazy you were so extra then because looking at you now, we're like so minimal most of the time. I don't wear makeup now, yeah. like at all, like barely, you know. And if you saw her high school pictures. <laughs> Girl, girl was orange. Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, who didn't tan in high school? I didn't get spray tans, but I was in the tanning bed. Yeah, me too. Me too. In your high school reunion. <laughs> so flex on these hoes, you know? What's up, losers? <laughs> I have next question for you. Was it in high school or middle school? High school. Yeah. I didn't have my first kiss till I was a, uh, what age? Uh, junior in high school. Really? Yeah. I told you I was the innocent girl. People Dang. would not believe okay. that, but yeah, innocent girl, didn't know anything, didn't mm-hmm. know what sex was. Yeah, no. No, I knew nothing. I was way too innocent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had my first kiss when I was a junior. And was... at what age did you lose your virginity? Oh, it's getting getting close. I just think <laughs> Senior. Senior. Like, close towards the um, end of my senior year. Dang, you quick. You went from, like... Not know how to kiss. I mean, having a first kiss. It's She's over. a quick learner. It's over. I don't gotta mash her neck. That's like the most important thing. The guy I thought I freaking loved. Yeah. So um, were you guys like in a relationship? Like, was that your first boyfriend? Like, first boyfriend, first very serious relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't like me in the beginning. <laughs> and then you hooked him with your a girl. He. You heard. So rudely interrupted. Talking about what were we discussing? Okay, so let's continue about your first relationship. And you said that like you, he didn't like you at first. Yeah, honestly, like that. no hard feelings though. I was a sophomore in high school. He was a um, senior. Okay. Um. Yeah, I obviously fell for an older guy, and I was like so convinced I was gonna make him fall in love with me. <laughs> At the end of the day, but I don't recommend ever doing that. Ever. A guy yeah, should like fall in love. A with guy you? should like you for who you are. Mm-hmm. Obviously, everyone should know that fact. So if you're in high school and you're struggling, don't try to make a guy like you. Right. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Even you if you chase, you replace. Exactly. And even if you think he's the love of your life, he's probably not. You're young. You don't know who you are. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what the world has to offer you out there. <laughs> so how long did it take you to like get over that relationship? No, I mean, once we started dating, we dated how long for was three it? and a half years. Heartbreak. Heartbreak don't matter. You go through it sometimes, you know, you live and you learn. That's all I gotta say about that. But um, as far as like why you guys broke up, if you remember. We broke up because... We just didn't get along anymore. I honestly think we were just outgrowing each other. Joined a sorority, so I feel like I'm learning who I was, you know, creating new relationships, new friendships, and um, he was ready to settle down. He had his job. He was good to go. He was moving to a different state, so. Uh-huh. I'm not like, you broke up when he moved away? No, before. Because he moved away? Oh, no. before he moved away. No, we okay. just weren't getting along, so we okay. broke up when we were still at the same college. Okay. Um, yeah, it just didn't work out, you know, and it did suck because you date someone for three and a half years and you're like, oh, <laughs> there goes three and a half years of my life, but whatever. You can't really be salty about those things. So are you, you friends you know with any of your exes right now? <laughs> they like to block me. That's like <laughs> So the answer is no. They love to block Once me. Once they're gone, they're gone. You okay. know why? I can't because they get salty. They don't want to see my stuff. Oh, that's fine. You do you, boo boo. Okay. Okay. What is one thing you wish people knew about you? I wish people knew how honest I am. 24-7. So as people think that you're not honest? Not that they don't think I'm not honest, but you know, I feel like people have trust issues. Mm -hmm. So then they think that they can't believe me when I'm telling the 100% truth. I'm always honest, 24-7. I have like the weirdest face shape ever. Like the 14 inch TV, you know? No! I don't know! 
ever fail to anything and what do you learn? Relationships? <laughs> the more red flags I see, the more colorblind I become. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, red flag, what's that? <laughs> Don't know her. Um, Can't see her. Trusting people. <laughs> uh, yeah. The wrong people. Right? And not to say that, like, put your guard up, but, like, you know, definitely watch for those red, red flags and you become like you just know how to read people better and where to put your trust and who to trust do you have your pet so i have a dog his name is cash he's deaf he knows sign language he's cash people. money cash money sanders australian shepherd what are you the happiest with in your life honestly just my life overall like your current life current life okay. because i moved to florida have you as a roommate? Yes! Can we cheers to that? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're oh. fine. Cheers to me. Jen Harry. There you go. Ooh. Cheers. Um, yeah, moving to Florida was the best thing I ever did so far. Same. I'm pretty happy with life. I'm content with it. We're making moves. Tell them what you just did. Facts. So, your girl. The tea. The tea girl. girl. Me, myself, and I just bought myself a brand new house. Boom. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Making moves, making big moves. You know what she did? Yeah. Especially. Oh, but yes, we move soon. We're moving in um less than a month. Yeah. About three weeks. House tour coming up next. Stay tuned. More parties. More hoes. Just keep sliding the DMs if you want. <laughs> Just kidding. Please don't. You're not invited. No, because this is a palace. You're not invited. And you peasants are not welcome. Okay. I don't want you in my house. Unless you're rich. You're gonna. You're gonna. Be you <laughs> You gotta be educated, okay? Oh, no. Besides all that, okay? You gotta be educated. You gotta be funny, and you know, just gotta know how to treat a lady, treat a queen. Then you can come through. Other than that, you gotta bring you can some wait. housewarming gifts. That too, yes, that too. We never say no to you in the house. house unless you bring them. Get to the Lyles juicy part. One of your best moments mm -hmm. in college. Okay, first of all, where'd you go? Oklahoma State University. Well, shout out Cowboys. Okay, I was in what a else? sorority, AO Pi. Shout out to all my sisters out there. Do you have like a sign or like a symbol that like you guys would do? Oh yeah, there you go. I was ah! am in a sorority as of right now with you. Me you and know? you, I was with 72 girls in one house. Like what about your sorority um experience? Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. So for all of all of college soon to be out there right join us sorority highly recommended that's where you'll make your best mm -hmm. friends best friends forever and it gives you something to do 24 7. okay especially if you want to get involved on campus do it do it join a sorority do it you know get involved if your campus is really big on greek life then i highly recommend doing it because True. my campus 80 percent of um was greek life so if you weren't a part of greek Nobody knew you. <laughs> so just, what else would you recommend to um, new college students or soon to be college students out there? Don't be get on in a the relationship. <laughs> don't. I would say don't get in a relationship. I was single. So my freshman year, I was single all of my sophomore year, all of my junior year. Yes, I dated around. Definitely do that. Meet new people. Keep dating. Hey, don't get tied down. I got tied down my senior year. No complaints, mm -hmm. but looking at where I'm at now and where I was then, I would have been a lot happier if I was single, doing my own thing, making my own move. What kind of look are we going for today? I have no idea. I just kind of go with it. Wherever we go, we go. So definitely, like, I would agree with Stephanie. Like, I was in a relationship the whole entire time, right? And definitely do not recommend that. I, so I didn't even have like a full-on college experience you know I, I was not involved in school like I live off campus and I didn't join any sorority or fraternity like my school isn't big on Greek life to begin with like where'd you go to school FAU and to go back like I would definitely do it differently just experience different things I, I definitely regretted that put a yourself lot. out there favorite song at the moment <laughs> We see Travis Scott. We see the baby. Honestly, I really like this Levi High song. Uh, Danny Lay. Danny Lay featuring the baby. Future. 
Fire. Oprah's bank account. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is your that is your song. Yeah, that is that is a funny the song. Is so stupid, but so good. I, my yo, what's your right favorite now. song? I need to it with some pop in it. Oh, Lil Uzi's new album. It's called Leaders. Oh, I definitely like Savage right now. Don't even start making the stallion. Ah, making the stallion. It's the it's the mood right now. Okay, so what is your type? As far as guy goes. <laughs> My type of guy, honestly, I mean, it changes, right? It does. Like, you know, I like a guy I can have fun with. Just someone I vibe well with, someone mm -hmm. that is funny, um, honest, someone who's not playing games because, you know, I'm tired of it. It's not even about that, though. You ain't gonna buy me nothing. You ain't gonna take me to a fancy dinner. I just want someone that's real, like me. Right, like treat you right. Like it doesn't. Have I don't to be care if we're at the house if we're just vibing. As long as you're honest, you're real. You care about me like I care about you. As long yeah. as we're all on the same page, I'm Gucci with everything. Well, I like me, you know. Well, see, I like I like to That's test his voice, you know. Like, are you able to jump through the hoops of fire for me? I like when a guy goes out of his way to see me. Like, yeah. even if it's just coming over for, like, a little bit to hang out. That's cute. cute. Mm -hmm. What is your love language? Touch. Phys physical touch. Physical touch. Mostly then, because I like to have someone with me. Like, I'm cuddling, hugging, anything. Spending time. Just someone, yeah, you have to be able to spend your time with me. So, physical touch. I don't touch. care what we're doing. Just have to be. And quality time. Yes. Yeah. So, mine is quality time. Like Nike or Adidas? Adidas! Adidas? Oh, Nike all the way. How much time do you spend on YouTube every day? That's the only thing I do with my life besides work. <laughs> and sometimes work out. Do you believe in love at first sight? You know, I don't believe it. I do. Oh. Alrighty, the finished product. Ooh, she look cute. Ow. 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 <laughs> oh. Enough. This has been our it's been real vid. It's been real or whatever. Now I gotta go to bed because I got work in the morning. Bye.